Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to add plugins and how to configure it in a uh, SCP Serial Observer server mod, not exiled. Just saying before we start, vanilla does not work. If you have vanilla enabled, vanilla pretty much means it's normal and you can only like edit the config and you can't add plugins. Um, and server mod is, you know, mods, plugins, you know. First off, you're going to want to make sure server is off, offline. Make sure it says that. If there's anything else, then it's either the server is on, or it's determining it. But if something was you refresh the place, uh, refresh the page, it will say, is it to be determined or is determining uh whatever i don't know um yeah is being determined so first off what you're gonna want to do is go to go down here go to ftp dash browser so i'm going there and you can either get filezilla or win scp for this, I'm going to be using WinSCP. Um, it's it's a bit more um, complicated than FileZilla. Um, I might use I might do a tutorial on FileZilla if you guys want me to, but step by step tutorial is pretty easy, like for video. So first, uh, what you're going to want to do is either download either one. Next this so when you press new session right here it'll come up with this so i'm all i've already done this i've got a um save here and the password is in i'm not going to show anything i'm not going to all right so i'm going to put this to my other screen and put a new session in there here. Alright. So you copy the FTP host and put in host name right here. And then port number is pretty much always 21. If not, it'll say here. But put the port number right here. Username. Usually your zap posting name. Rain blocks up here. Um, password. I'm not going to show it. But you click this, and then you can click it again to copy, and then you paste it in here. And then once you're finished, press login. Alright. So I've I've done this four times already. But it's getting a bit annoying. Um because there's some errors. So now I'm going in to go into the SC uh, SCP server mod Discord. So I'm gonna get better disarming. And, um, I'm just gonna go GitHub over here. I'm gonna download the DLL. So you should get a DLL file. And then you drag it in here. So pretend, um, you are holding it down and the DLL file is on your mouse. You just let go of it right here. Or you can let go of it right here. It must be an SM underscore plugins. Alright. Dependencies, that's if there are two DLL files, it'll tell you if the in the installation. Um, in code, down here, there is an installation. So, what I'm doing is following off here. Sometimes, um, the installation process is on the wiki, so somewhere over here. But I am not going to be using the wiki because... This is only one, uh, two steps. Um, make sure it says smod2 or smod must be installed for this to work. Just make sure it says that. Alright. You place the better disarming.dll file in your sm underscore plugins folder. It says that. Alright, now the config. So what I'm going to do is go over here. And I am going to go to configs on the settings configs and then i'm going to go to c 
config underscore gameplay dot txt. You must be there. So to put so you can put um, the config pretty much everywhere. Um, I'm putting it down below here. So as you can see, so as you can see, bd underscore prohibit doors right here. If you want the default value in, you still have to put it in. That's just like the default what it like if you don't know what you're doing, it'll just say the default in the description. You copy the default, put it in here. You need a colon after this. No spaces, but there's a space after the colon. And then all for all of these. And then you put true or false. So false would be capital F, A L S E. Um, capital F and lowercase A L S E. All right. But I'm doing true because I want them uh, to not be able to open the doors while they're handcuffed or disarmed. Um, these are the list of roles who can escape and what they turn into. So you could pretty much make it like class D turns into 106 or spectator but i wouldn't recommend doing that because it might break the game all right so now um you should be fine so you copy all of these this is how long before every escape check in seconds so it checks if anybody escaped every one seconds everyone every one second it checks if anyone escaped and if anyone did escape within that one second, it will put them into the team they go into. Um, so that's BD underscore check interval. BD underscore escape list. 11 is lieutenant. Sorry, yeah, 11 is a lieutenant. 12 is commander and 13 is cadet. 8 is chaos insurgency. And then chaos to lieutenant. Hmm. So once you've done the config, oh yeah, by the way, you don't need the hashtag here. This is just for telling you. Um, I'd recommend it because, you know, it'll say what config and stuff, you know. So I'm, I'm finished, so I'm going to save. Make sure to save, do not press abort, because that will just r r ruin all your progress. Alright. And now, it's, you press online. Turn on. Um, I don't have anyone to test it with me, but if you have any issues, just tell me down in the comments, and I will try to, um, troubleshoot it with you. Um, I'll have my server in the description, um, Peter's Playground Community, it's Australian server. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all. Um, if you want any more tutorials for anything, maybe just, for like, remote admin, just tell me, and I will, um, do a tutorial for it. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.